I'm making this video as part of the project for converting the 07 Mustang to basically everything 2012. So these are the trunk latch mechanisms. This is the one from the 07. This is the one from the 2012. And physically they're the same as far as the way they mount and the latching mechanism. This one, because the car was in an accident, is actually broken. This hook, I guess you want to call it, the part that grabs the latch. Still got some of the coating that you can see there, but the actual metal part's broken. Um, so this one is no good. Um, one of the other key differences between the two cars is that the 07 doesn't have an internal trunk release. It uses the key fob or a key, and this attaches to the key in the trunk lid. Basically, when you turn the key, it turns that slot, which pulls the lever on the inside of here. Um, the 07 does not have a trunk key. I mean, the excuse me, the 2012, sorry. The 2012 does not have a key, a place for a key. The trunk lid just, they don't have them. So this doesn't have that. Um, but it also, it did have an internal button besides the key fob to do a trunk release by pushing a button. So this um, works in the same way, but it has this extra mechanism. Electrically, they're the same and, and mechanically. But <clears throat> again, this one's broken. Um, I did grind the head off. You can see here, this is the what it would originally look like so that I could take this apart and basically you've got a motor with a worm gear that drives this gear. This gear has cogs I guess for lack of a better definition that will trip this mechanism to release. Um, so that's basically how it works. So it gets a signal electrically. The, the big issue I have, well, one of the issues is the connector for the 2012 is different than the connector for the 07. So I couldn't just simply plug the 2012 harness into the 07 and leave it which I would have preferred to do. And I may be able to repin the connector, but I've got to take them apart anyway because I do want to keep the key feature. And so if you look at this um, lever right here, it's hard to do with one hand. This lever is when you have the emergency glow in the dark handle you can pull on it and it pulls this lever which is the same thing this will attach to so the key will pull that lever so this lever which is tripped by this wheel has multiple ways to be pulled you can use the emergency if you're trapped in the trunk you can pull this it'll pull that lever if you use the key on this one the way it attaches inside here, that attaches to the lever. I'll take this one apart and we'll, we'll look at it too. So my goal here is to take this part, which has the correct electrical connection. They're molded differently. Let's, let's look at this real quick. see the connectors are different between the two. So I'm basically going to take this piece, which is from the 2012, and I'll plug right into the harness. I'm going to use this for the trunk key mechanism, and I'm going to take the 
the tumbler out and see if I can have a locksmith change the tumbler to work with the 2012 key. That may or may not work, I don't know. We'll cross that bridge later. Um, but then I'm going to use this metal piece here because it's not broken. So I have not taken this one apart yet. This cover pulls off, off of here. And this is the one from the 2012 and this is this is broke. It's just coating left. The metal part's gone. This one still has full function of the locking mechanism in there. So anyway, that's where we're at right now. Um, if you're watching this video, you must really have nothing else to do. So I'm sorry, but I'm going to take this one apart and try to marry the two and see if we can't make one functioning one. I've got a an idea of how to make this work. Basically, this holds it together. This spindle, I guess, was peened over to make like a rivet head, which I ground off. Um, so I'm thinking of just drilling all the way through on the drill press, put a bolt through there. I need this um, diameter part here. Basically it guides the, where am I? There, there we go. This lever, sorry, this fits over this. So this guides this lever or, or whatever to, to center it. So I need to retain that. And then, like I said, it holds it together. So I've got an idea. We'll see in later videos if it works. All right. Enough for that right now. See you in a minute. Little update here. I took the, this is the 07 one. I took it apart. Um, basically drilled out the rivet head to get the washer off that was here. And then I drilled through it. This is a 440 machine screw. So this, I'm going to use this to bolt it back together. This will go all the way through. So we'll bolt it back together that way. So now basically, this is the part that I needed for replacement here as you can see they're pretty much the same I didn't take the cover off of this one but uh, pretty much the same this is white plastic that's black plastic but they're they're the same same stamping it looks to me made in Korea in fact still got the same stamping there so I think what I'll be able to do then is take, this is the part from the 2012, so I'm going to take this, there's that lever mechanism, I will take this one, oops, and you can see, maybe you can see, this is the trunk lock that's going to pull on this lever as well. So we'll transfer this into here. I dropped the little gear. Sorry about that. This one looks to be in better shape. So anyway, I'm going to put this mechanism into this, which will plug into the 2012 harness. I'll attach this to the 2007 piece here. Oop. This piece then goes in the trunk. Hi, Stuart. To the trunk lock right there. Uh, one other 
difference, excuse me, trunk lock there. One other difference they had was this mounted here. This is a an electric, they call it a plunger, but basically it, um, when you pop the release, this electrically pushes the trunk open. Down here is what it latches to on the 12. They have a similar design, but instead of having the electric plunger, they have this spring-loaded arm. So it will just push the trunk open. So I'm going to swap this from the 2012 because I won't need any of this stuff. This is all going to go away, which includes this. Um, and I'll still be able to have the lock. Hopefully, like I said, I'll get a locksmith and he can make the tumbler work. Worst case scenario, I have a key made that I keep in the glove box or something just for opening the trunk. But anyway, that's my plan. Stay tuned. All right, it looks like I've got this baby reassembled where I can use it. So if we just simulate latching the trunk, it's hard to do with one hand. There we go. That would be latched. Right. So we have our, our claw right there that's holding the trunk shut. This is the key. You can watch this little cable move. It unlatched there, so that's basically twisting motion there. So latching. Sorry about making you dizzy. Latching in. Latched. And then this lever will do the same thing. Unlatched. So, and then it's bolted together through there. There was also a screw here that holds this side. So we got, got it reassembled pretty tight. I did put a, a zip tie on there to keep this cable from coming loose. It should work, I hope. All right, later. So there it is, mounted. I've got the bracket mounted back in the original location. That's my through bolt there that's holding it together. This is the lock mechanism for the key. Like I said, I'll probably have to get a locksmith to change the tumbler around if that's even doable. Um, so that bolts back in the original spot. I have, sorry for the jump around. This is the wiring harness from the 12. So now it is plugged in. This is the 12's third brake light, which is destroyed. Uh, but anyway, I'll get this wiring tidied up and hopefully it all works. Next challenge, at least on the back end, will be the tail lights. But that'll be another bunch of videos. Right, Chester? Okay, we got the 2012 harness tidied up a little bit. This plug goes to the third brake light, which is different, obviously. Everything is different. Thank you, Ford. So I have the 07 harness here. This is the plug that plugs in there. It's two wires, and this is two wires. So I think I can just repin that, I hope, or cut and splice, whatever. And the third brake light will work. So hopefully all of that then will work. So my next biggest project, put this down. 
or I don't know my biggest, but my next project is, let's look at this. This is the daylight that's <clears throat> Lucas leaving. That's the noise there. Okay, so this is the 07 taillight. I just set it out here where we can look at it easy. So the sockets are different. This is the taillight bulbs for the 2012. And they're much smaller. So they, they don't fit in there. So what I'm thinking of this is the 07 taillight harness. So I'm thinking these are look they got kind of warm. I'm thinking I'll just take these apart, bore out the center so that it slide over these, cut the cut the notches in here so they'll lock onto that bulb. I don't know, we'll have to see if there's enough material in there to do that. That'd be kind of cool if that worked. So that's, that's going to be my next project. But we'll, we'll make separate videos for that. Anyway, trunk latch is done and I hope it works. We'll know when I get uh, everything hooked back up and tested out. The key part should work anyway, at the very least. I still also need to swap this, but that's enough trunk latch videos. Later. I know I said there'd be enough trunk latch videos. We've got one more. So the trunk latches still the 07 key but it works I swapped this this guy so we've got the 2012 spring loaded gizmo so as long as it works electrically we're good okay now later Okay, one one last oh, sorry, one last trunk video, trunk latch. Trunk is latched. Trunk is unlatched. So that works. We got all kinds of faults. I have no idea what it's doing. I don't think it does either. I think the doors are open. Um, obviously the driver's door is open, but the passenger one is not. So it looks like I'm gonna have to change the harness inside the door. They don't communicate. I hope that's all it is, but Trunk latch works, horn works, headlights work, brights work, turn signals, radio. I don't have an antenna hooked up yet, but anyway, there it is.